Hey everyone, Danielle from NAC here. Today I wanted to show you how to track when records are created and updated in your app. So here we are in a custom CRM portal where the sales reps can come in, they can manage their contacts, they can add notes, uh, and so on. They can manage orders for their contacts. But today we want to be tracking when new notes are created and when contacts are updated. So first, let's talk about notes. So whenever a sales rep adds a new note to a contact, we want to track when this note is created. So first we need to go over to the schema section. We want to make sure we're viewing our notes object and looking at our fields and let's add a new date field. So click add field. Let's come down here to date time. Let's call this field created at. And here we have our field settings. So we need to make some changes. So change this to whatever format you'd like. As far as default date, we want to make sure this is set to the current date. Uh, for this example, I'm not going to ignore the time format because I also want to see what time this was created at. And let's make sure the default time was the current time. So what this does for current date and current time is when a new record is created, if no value is presented at the time of creation, it'll automatically update that field value with the current date or the current time. So what this means is that when a record is created in your app by a user, as long as this date field is not in that form and they don't have the option to edit that field, the field will automatically be set to the current date and the current time. So it's very important that this field isn't included in any form, so it can't be manually updated by a user if you're using this method. So let's go ahead and add this field. All right, so here we have the created app field. For this example, I'm going to put it at the top just so we can see it better. We can see our new field right here. Right now it's blank because we haven't had this, this set up for very long. But let's go over to our live app and add a new note so we can see how it works. All right, so over here I'm logged in as a sales rep. And here's my dashboard, and I want to add a new note. All right, so I'm just going to say this is a new note. All right, so now that we've created this record, let's go back to our builder and refresh and see what this field looks like. Okay, here's the new note that I've added, and here you can see is the current date and the current timestamp that the record was created. And that's it. So now you're tracking when new records are created, you're tracking the date and the time at which they were created. Okay, so next I want to talk about how to track when records are updated. And the difference here is that with notes, we're tracking only when the record is created. So if I go back and update that note, it's not tracking that. It's only tracking the time at which the record was created. However, with uh, contacts, we want to be able to see the last time somebody updated that record. So we're going to start by doing the same thing, going to the schema, the same thing we did over here with notes, but we want to make sure we're on the contacts object, viewing the fields. We want to add a new date time field. Uh, let's call this last updated, last updated at. I want to also track time for this too. We can leave these current settings, but we are going to do something a little bit different. Okay, so we have our new last updated field at. I'm going to move it up here just to make it easier for me to show you. Okay, here we go. Here's our new field last updated at. But this isn't the last step. So we need to go over to our pages section of the app and anywhere where contacts are being edited by your sales reps or by um, who have, whatever users have access to edit your records that you're tracking, we want to make sure that we edit the forms. So here we have an edit contact form. We want to edit this form. First, we want to make sure that our new field is not in the form. So do not include this in the inputs that your user can edit because we want to be updating this behind the scenes. Instead, what we want to do is we want to add a, a rule, specifically a record rule. Add a new rule. We want to update this record and we want this rule to run every time the form is submitted. We want to update the last updated field, the one that we just added to the object. And we want to update the value to the current date. So what this rule is going to do is anytime this form is submitted in the live app, 
the last updated at field is going to be updated with the current date. So for example, if I update this record on Monday, that field will show Monday. And then if I update that field again on Tuesday, that this field will then be updated with the most recent time it was updated to Tuesday. So I'm gonna save these changes. And let's go over into the live app and update one of these contacts. Okay, so I'm going to update this contact. Let's just say I'm going to add an exclamation and let's submit that. All right, so let's go back to the builder and just see how it worked out. So I'm gonna go check out the records for the contacts object. Okay, so there we go. Here's our last updated at record. You can see that it's updated with the current date and the current time. Now, just to show you how this works, right now it's updated as 4.54 p.m., but if I went back over here and made that update again, so let's reload that form, and I'm just gonna add a lot more exclamations. Let's submit it again. All right, let's go over here and refresh. This field is going to update with the new timestamp. All right, there we go. 4.55, so it was only a minute between when I made these changes. Uh, you can see the new exclamations that I added. Uh, but this field will update and show the most recent time at which this record was updated. All right, and that's it. That's all you need to do in order to track when a record was created and when a record was updated. Uh, I will put the accompanying knowledge base article in the notes for this video. Hope you find it helpful, and until next time, happy building.